In this video we are going to see how to draw the Mo circle to calculate the principal and maximum shear stresses. Let me read the problem. An elemental cube is subjected to tensile stresses of 30 Newton per mm square and 10 Newton per mm square. Acting on two mutually perpendicular planes with a shear stress of 10 Newton per mm square. Here is the cross section of the member and let me consider two mutually perpendicular planes along y axis and x axis on the plane there are direct stresses sigma 1 and sigma 2 sigma 1 is equal to 30 newton per mm square and sigma 2 is equal to 10 newton per mm square and also shear stress of value 10 newton per mm square is acting on the plane and draw the mo circle for the given stress condition and determine the magnitude and direction of principal stresses and also the make maximum shear stress that is greatest shear stress so we need to calculate the maximum principal stress and minimum principal stress and also the maximum shear stress let me consider 30 is sigma 1 and 10 is sigma 2 and 2 is 10 newton per m square and let me draw the Mo circle for the given condition. To draw the Mo circle, we need to draw the axis. The sigma value is on x axis and tau value is on y axis. And we need to take the scale. Uh, I have taken 1 cm is equal to 5 Newton per mm square for my con uh, consideration. Uh, my maximum stress value is 30 newton per m square so i increase the value like 5 10 15 so i have taken 1 centimeter is equal to 5 newton per m square so based on your convenience you can take the scale uh, depend upon the available space you have and in the problem they have given only the tensile stresses which has the positive sign so positive side of the x-axis is enough to draw the Mo circle if one of the direct stress is given in compressive nature we have to draw the values in y side of the x-axis also but in the problem both are tensile only so positive side of the x-axis is enough and then we need to mark sigma 1 sigma 2 and tau value on the graph let me mark here From point A, from point A to 30 Newton per mm square, I need to mark the sigma 1 value which is equal to 30 Newton per mm square and the point named as B and for sigma 2 value of 10 newton per mm square sorry 10 newton per mm square i need to mark the point which is c so for sigma 2 is equal to 10 newton per mm square and the point named as c so now sigma 1 sigma 2 is over next thing is tau value tau value will be marked along y axis so from point C we have to draw a line of 10 Newton per m square and also point B we need to draw a line of 10 Newton per m square in opposite direction. So let me draw the line. So along positive direction from C and along negative direction from C we need to draw tau is equal to 10 Newton per m square and here also tau is equal to 10 newton per mm square and the points are f and g and after that we need to connect the points f and g that will be passing through the center point of the distance b and c and after connecting the line g and f we have to draw a circle O as center this point is named as O so here center O and the radius OG we have to draw a circle 
okay now i have drawn the circle and after completing the circle we have to mark the point right extreme of the circle is named as m and left extreme of the circle is named as l what we have done is after marking point o we have to draw a circle of radius oz and after completing the circle the right extreme of the circle is named as m and left extreme of the circle is named as l so now if we measure the distance al that is equal to your minor principal stress if you measure the distance am that is equal to your maximum principal stress so let me measure from here sorry if you measure the distance from a to m the value is equal to major principal stress so i have got the distance of 30 then 35 the distance is 1 2 3 4 5 6 6.8 cm 6.8 cm and after that we need to measure the distance from a to l from a to l so that's it a to l sigma minor minimum principal stress that is equal to i have got 1.2 cm distance and now let me calculate as per the scale so sigma major ma major principal stress is equal to am is equal to 6.8 cm the scale is 5 newton per m square so 6.8 into 5 is equal to uh, around 30 36 newton per sorry around 34 newton per mm square our measured value is 6.8 cm into our scale value 1 cm is equal to 5 newton per mm square so 6.8 into 5 that is equal to 34 newton per mm square and the minor stress value minor stress value is equal to al that is measured by 1.2 cm so as per the scale 1.2 into 5 is equal to 6 newton per mm square so this is the value of sigma major and sigma minor and finally we need to calculate the tau maximum value maximum shear stress that is equal to radius of the circle radius of circle so here we need to measure the radius of circle that is the distance between o and m we need to measure the distance o into m so 1 cm then 2 cm then 2.8 cm so here is a value to maximum is equal to radius of the circle that is equal to 2.8 cm so 2.8 into scale value 5 is equal to the answer is 14 newton per mm square that's it so this is how we can calculate the maximum and minimum principal stresses from the mohr circle diagram and also the maximum shear stress we should know that the maximum shear stress is always the radius of the mohr circle thank you